Hello and welcome. Um, if you're watching this video, it is because you are an incoming sophomore enrolled in AP World History here at Anderson High School. We will be one of your instructors. Um, my name is Mr. Broughton. My name is Mr. Jones. And we're just going to talk to you very briefly about the summer assignment that you have been given um, and hopefully clarify the process for you. But first, um, Mr. Jones, what is AP World History? Good question, Mr. Broughton. I know a lot of our students coming in are probably wondering what exactly this class is all about. We focus on taking a test at the end of the year that gains college credit for the student. And so we work on specific skills that are on that test so that when they take it, they can pass it and then earn college credit for their future. Yeah, and it's all organized and ordained by the College Board, the same people who run the SAT or ACT college ad admissions exams. So it's kind of a big deal. And we have our work cut out for us. And so to make sure that day one, we can start practicing those essential skills that are required by the AP exam, we're gonna have you complete some very basic assignments over the summer, just so that way we can get right into it. Um, so let's talk about how to complete this project. Um, if my internet skills are great, there'll be a banner right here. And right here, pop up in the video. If not, it'll just be like me holding up my hands for no reason. It'll give you a link directly to um, a Google Slides presentation and a Google Form document. You will also have access to this via email. Um, we just wanna give it to you another way. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the Google Slides and it's gonna force a copy and it's gonna give you your own copy of this documentation. It's essentially like I'm giving you a worksheet, right? A packet. Uh, the Google form is where, where you will record all of your answers, right? Um, I think there are, the components of the project are a brief reading. Um, there, is, there are three important historical events that we put in front of you. There's a timeline activity, and then there is a, just a big picture kind of open-ended question that we just ask you guys, give us a writing sample in. Um, and that, in a nutshell, is really it. Uh, it's nothing too scary. It just allows us to gauge where you are at the beginning of the school year. Um, aside from that, the last page on there uh, will have information about how to obtain our textbooks. Now, Mr. Jones, why would I want to buy my own textbook? You want to buy your own textbook because you have the ability then to mark the textbook up that you can kind of see with Mr. Bratton's example there. He has posted notes all over the place. He's got highlights inside the book and he can write actual physical notes in the book and all of those things. Of course, we will provide you with a textbook if you want it, but you can't do any of that to the book. So it's really helpful in getting, like knowing the important parts of, hey, I know this part or that part of a certain unit. When we take tests, you don't have to keep looking through every page and like, I know there was something about that here. You can probably already have it highlighted and that way, you can be like, it's right here, and I can study and do well. Exactly, and we'll go over all this again in August. Um, it's just every year in August, every student in the nation tries to buy this book, or like a lot of uh, them do. Um, and so it typically will take some time uh, if you wait till August and get over the summer, 25 bucks, easy peasy, and it'll be ready for you for the first day of school. But just wanna put that information out there. Uh, we look forward to meeting you all. Um, and hope you have a relaxing summer, um, despite us giving you torturous work. Um, thank you so much, and we will see you all soon. All right.